In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Hot Toys Count Dooku figure, which came out a few months ago. Thank you for tuning back into Aaron Meets World. My name's Aaron, and I'm going to jump into it. Uh, so I'm actually really impressed with this figure. As far as the character goes, I feel like Count Dooku is a really under-respected character. He's probably the least cool of the Sith Lords, if you don't count Kylo Ren and I don't count Kylo Ren, um, because he doesn't have any sort of gimmick about him. He's just an older gentleman who used to be a former Jedi. Uh, so he, he just is a man. He's not dismembered in any way. He's not grotesque. Um, I guess a little bit more so in episode three than in episode two. Um, but, uh, yeah, I feel like he's kind of an underestimated character, but he's played by the late, great Christopher Lee. I don't remember off the top of my head if there should be a sir in his title or not. I feel like there kind of should be, but I, I don't remember. Um, but this figure was very well done. It's actually one of the better Star Wars prequel figures as far as getting a sculpt right uh, that they've done in quite a while. Anakin was spot on. Obi-Wan looks okay from certain angles, but then not so great from certain angles. Um, but Count Dooku, he pretty much looks great from every angle, and you're definitely not going to mistake him for anyone else. Um, I feel like he's a fairly spot-on figure as far as the head sculpt goes. Um, the tailoring's really good. His cape is nice and heavy and a great material um, all around. I feel like they nailed it. Uh, so if you're going to get into prequel collecting, Count Dooku is a must-have figure to for you to have a complete collection in that regards. Um, I don't feel like you can skip Count Dooku, and he's definitely not worth skipping. Um, as far as his value goes... Um, I mean, I feel like the price versus value ratio on most Hot Toys figures has been getting quite skewed lately, and I don't know what the reasons for that would be, uh, maybe import taxes or something like that, but the amount of accessories you get versus the price is okay. He does come with several different holograms for his hologram thing that he holds up, um, Palpatine, Jango Fett, and a, um, a droid. Um, he has his swinging lightsaber as well as his regular lightsaber blade, which you see here. Um, let's see. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple figure. Uh, only one head sculpt. Um, so not much more to say about it, but I, I feel like they knocked it out of the park on this one more to the degree that you would get with most Marvel figures. And I do feel like they put a little bit more effort in on the Marvel figures than they have on the Star Wars figures, especially lately. Um, maybe that's not true. Maybe they're just a little bit harder to get right. Um, but I have, I have a feeling that they are putting a little bit more effort in on the Marvel figures because you tend to see less of them that don't nail likenesses in Marvel than you do with Star Wars. Um, anyways, you definitely don't have to worry about that with this one. They nailed it. It is definitely Christopher Lee. It is definitely Count Dooku. And getting this one makes me want to pick up the Episode 2 Yoda to display the two of them together, which I'm on the fence about at the moment. He's on my list of ones to order. Uh, but I'm kind of rethinking what I'm going to be collecting at the moment. Um, I'm rethinking a lot of things. Um, so I'm not sure yet. Um, the direction of this channel might change um, with the next season. Um, and that might be something that continues as I do you know, season one, finish season one, go into season two, season three. Um, each season, the focus might change or might shift. I don't know. Um, I'm still kind of thinking about that. I feel like I'm 
maybe about halfway through this season, so I still probably have a good 20 episodes to go before I, I'll think about wrapping up season one. I don't know. I might change that. I shouldn't commit. But um, I'm going to go for a while still with what I've been doing. Um, but I, I do have to make some changes in my life, and one of them would be kind of rethinking where I put my money. Um, and I feel like that's one I'm probably going to have to make, uh, which would inevitably affect this channel since a lot of it has been collecting based up to this point. But there's a lot of stuff that I do now that I could still do, even if I taper back. So we'll see. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate it. Please like this video, please share it, please subscribe. I do have some other hot toys that I have not reviewed yet sitting around waiting for reviews. For instance, like this guy right here, Darth Maul. I actually received him a little bit before Count Dooku. So anyways, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.